Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Monday. Well, we finally got through the weekend. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. So, today we're working on Joy Sunday's Return from Christmas. It's an 11 count and it's 69 by 54. And I'm working up here on this this edge I think of the the porch yeah Ooh. what a morning I uh, went to bed last night at oh, about 10 15 because I was just exhausted thank you everyone for showing up to the uh, to the live I appreciate it yay my goal is to have a hundred people in live so Hang in there, guys. We might actually get there. Oops. Got to get this down where I can see what I'm doing. So, I don't know if you can tell, but I've been working on the porch here. So, I got the part of the railing done. But, uh, we're right in here. And I'm going to... I had it rolled up. Just so that I could... Whoops. Grab a hold of it. Yeah. Didn't do much else yesterday after the live I just fixed a real light supper I don't even remember what it was but I remembered what it was that I bought at the grocery store to make and that wasn't happening so I didn't feel like dealing with it I got um, meat to make chicken fried steak and yeah after I fried the uh, what do you call it the eggplant yesterday I can get a hold of this um I was done yeah pretty much so yeah hopefully you can tell where I'm stitching here and then I went to sit down and one of the casters fell off of my stupid desk chair so yeah we're gonna have to figure that out but yeah, it's not happening right this second. I'm using three strands, as usual. Oh, goodness gracious. But yeah, I got tired of working on the stupid trees, so we were just going to go do something else. So, we'll just do that. It comes with a nice heavy needle. I appreciate that, Joy Sunday. Because... I can't ever find the needles that I want, and half the time I don't, if unless I'm going for 26 or 28 counts for, you know, my counted, I don't know what needles to get, and they don't have a whole big variety to choose from, so, yeah, here at that sewing store, and then I'd have to order it online, yeah, it just gets more and more complicated as we go along, but, uh, I need, uh, still need perennial, if you're out there, perennial and windy stitching to contact me. I've commented on your, your, uh, comments and, uh, get a hold of me because you won. So. If everybody can get a hold of me, it would be great. I just hate, hate having things hanging fire. Because it's going to get complicated really quick here. So if y'all could just get a hold of me, it would be great. And I hope I'm saying it perennial correct I don't know that I can't spell it because I haven't written it down but yeah so yeah I was just tired I finished watching um let's call it the cook of is it cat Casimar I don't know how to say it. It's 
a Spanish um, miniseries. It was only like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 12 or 14 parts to it. I think we're going to have to go someplace else here. And it's further away than I wanted. So, yeah. I worked a little bit on the stocking last night. I was just, I don't know, just kind of fried. I didn't take a nap yesterday, so. Because I knew I had to get up early today. So, yeah, I got up early. I was up at 5.30. It was stupendous. So, just been hanging out here with Molly and having coffee. Trying to get my act together. And Is there any over here that I'm missing? I guess we'll go here. There's a few colors here. So I'm just taking them one color at a time. But haven't done too much of anything else. I don't know where that red came from. And that's way back there. And okay. So, other than that, just... It's been kind of a blah weekend. Didn't go anywhere with my daughter. She's got physical therapy this week, and I think she said we might go do lunch on Thursday. So we'll we'll just wait and see. Just wait and see. But uh, no grand plans for the weekend. And it wasn't too terribly hot this weekend, so that was a plus. Today it's only supposed to get to like 81 or so, and it's still kind of, what is the word, uh, smoky out there. It, it looks foggy, but it's smoky. So, I don't know where this is all. Got to get rid of this. I didn't think it was going to go very far. And I'm sorry, this is the only other Christmas one that I have. So, it's what we're working on these days. And I really do like this, but it's just not making too much progress too fast, oh, for pity's sake. I'm trying to find my... I got three pairs of scissors here that I've been using off and on telling you. I didn't know what to do this morning. I really didn't want to start something. So we're just going with what we got here. Going with what we got. Because I've got, I've got the book. I think it's Deck the Halls book from uh, Blackbird and Home for the Holidays from Blackbird. Where was I? Where was I? Oh, yes, up here. Well, we'll just kind of work over to that house. Oh, for pity's sake, really? We're having a heck of a time today, I'm telling you. And I'm not sure if this will upload this morning before I go to work, because I work uh, 10 to 6 today. Now, last week, it took it 45 minutes to upload, and... It didn't make it before I had to go to work. So we'll, we'll just, it's kind of catch as you can. I thought I'd start early. It's about 7 o'clock. So we'll see what happens. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Just depends what's going on. I think next time I'll use that green color because there seems to be quite a a bit of the little green circles there. So yeah, just kind of taking it slow and easy. Nothing grand going on. A 
we'll see as the week progresses. My daughter went back to that place where uh, I took, I did a video there and she was doing the gold panning and I was sitting there by the little creek that was going by. Well, she went back there, I think it was last week, and she got all bit up by mosquitoes because for some reason those mosquitoes just love it. Well, the first time that her dad and I went up there, God, that's been 30-some years ago. Well, maybe not 30. Let's try for 20-some. And he was doing gold panning. And there wasn't anybody around. And he was right by the water. And it looked a whole lot different when we, my daughter and I went up there. But we went up there and he got bit up. By mosquitoes as well and so he was trying to dig enough dirt to fill a couple um what do you call it um uh, five gallon buckets and before he could get that done we were burning up and the mosquitoes were just eating us alive so yeah i told her about this story but she didn't listen she had to experience it herself so here we are so Yeah, you couldn't pay me enough to go back up there. Not this time of year. We'll wait till it's fall to go back there. So I don't know why the mosquitoes are so uh, attracted to that lovely little place, but it's just terrible. So at least I get to go to work and I'll have something to do. I guess. And somebody's paying me to be there, so here we are. This thing keeps sticking to the mat for some reason. I know that's its job, right? But, yeah, sometimes it's annoying because I can't get where I need it to be. It's kind of a Tan color. I was going to see what color it was. 758 is the color number. I haven't started anything new. Just, eh. Not feeling it. Okay, we got that little part done. We'll go back. <coughs> oh, man, I had that fan blowing at me all night because I was hot. For some reason, hot, hot. Air gets um, trapped back there. I don't know. It doesn't have, the trailer itself doesn't have great, what do you call it, circulation. So... It gets a little warm in the back, and I didn't want to run the the fan and the air conditioner all day. So I get tired of listening to it. So I guess it was just a tad bit warm. And it just kind of dried out my throat. I had to, in the middle of the night, I started this coughing fit. Because of the fan blowing at me. So I had to go get a cough drop. Just so I could go back to sleep. It was special. It took a little bit to go to sleep. But I thought I'd start early. Some nights you just got to do that. I just feel like my whole sleep schedule's off. But that miniseries, it was pretty good. Watched it all the way through. It's about the, I want to say 1700s, I think. Thereabouts, maybe possibly early 1800s. And it's based in Spain. 
it was all right. I wouldn't say it was stupendous. You know, I liked uh, Morocco, Love and Times of War better. But this was okay. It had an okay story. So I ended up watching it. It's amazing what kind of crap I go into. And I watched it in two days. So like I said, there was only about I'm pretty sure it's 12 parts to it. So I watched a few, not yesterday, but the day before, and then I finished it up yesterday. And it didn't have anybody that I knew. They might be famous in Spain, but I don't know these people. I just watched the shows. Worked on this a little bit the other day. Started on the, the porch. Because some trees were about to drive me over the edge. Seems like that's all I'm ever doing is trees. Molly's over there snoring as if she never got any sleep last night. She's probably saying to herself, yeah, I probably didn't get any sleep because you were up and down half the night. And usually if I get up, I just tell her to stay and she doesn't get off the bed. Thank God so we don't lift her up and down every time I get up and down. She didn't feel it necessary to follow me. Unless she thinks I'm really going to get up. So I hope it won't be too terribly run over everybody busy today. I mean, it was a nice weekend. Didn't rain, but I don't know. It might have rained up on the mountain, but way up there, you know, 14,000 feet. I have no idea. But it didn't rain much all weekend here. It seems to save that for the middle of the week. For some reason. Oh, you get out of there. I don't know where that came from. I'm always stitching something on this table. Heaven knows. I like that this is an 11 count. It goes fairly fast. So we'll see. Missed the whole thing. But yeah, I had fun on the live. It was great. I'm just not into that scheduling thing. I don't get it. I Why would I schedule something and then it, it won't automatically start? I can't figure that part out. Not at all. Not at all. So, from now on, we'll just have a live on Sunday at 3 o'clock. Uh, that's mountain time. So, wherever you're at, hopefully that will show up. Because I, I just don't get it. If anybody's got any suggestions, I'm open. Because it won't just... Start on my end is where I have a problem. It won't, you know, open up that automatically. Does that make sense? So. So make sure on your, you know, where you go to subscribe, make sure you hit the bell and then hit the 
when you hit the bell, there'll be a drop down menu. Click all, and then it should come up that I'm going live. So, it should. All right, but around that window. This is kind of hopping all over the place. I don't see any back here. So I just keep rolling it forward. Where was it? I guess right here. Whoop. There's four right there. Like I said, it's a little bit confetti. There must be nine different colors. Plus, right there in the front of that house. So we'll just take them one at a time. That's all I can do. I can only stitch in one place at one time. use up this thread if and I can Trying to make it across here, but I don't know that I'm going to get it all done. <sighs> Come on. Nope, it is not going to last. I hate that. only have five stitches to make. With the color and then I'll have to start on some other part. Oh, crap. We'll go right there, I guess. Where there's a whole bunch of them. Then we won't have to move so far. This thing isn't too big. I don't know if it... Well, like I said, it's 69 by 54 centimeters, that is. Thank goodness it's not that big, so... It's big enough. But not too terribly long. And this thread's nice. It just lays right down. Usually I have the worst problem with pale colors. They don't want to seem to... Sorry, whoops, I went the wrong way, my bad. You'd think after a while I'd get on to which direction to go. But sometimes the pale colors, I seem to have, they don't want to lay down, or they're all curly cute, or I don't know. Like they're wrapped up. Like somebody spun them. 
and they don't want to lay flat. So. But this color, it's been doing fine. Gotta go back here. I'll be going up the same one I just came down. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be about it today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye bye. Keep stitching.